Hello, it's John here at the Emerald Hollow Mine in beautiful Hidden Night, North Carolina. Uh, I'm still chasing the quartz vein and I'm just trying to go deeper because I think I'm working my way into a pocket. With that being said, check this out. Here's a different vantage point. So I've worked my way through this little narrow and then I'm here and I can open all of this up back to here and then approach this wall here, which is suspect for a pocket. Go for a little walk here. This is all pretty much quartz here. And then I approached it going this way. So now, there's another one of those. Very busy. Don't want to step on it. So I've cut my way on up to here. Now the quartz vein goes this way. And I've hit a pegmatite. I'm going to take a little closer look at this. The pegmatite's right here. It consists of feldspar, mostly albite, but I have found pieces of moonstone in there. There's also there's some albite right here. You get a decent piece of this that'll, that holds together and it, it, it can shine up pretty decently. Here's another piece. So it's all through here. And as I'm getting deeper, it's becoming more stable. Now the quartz vein it's right over here. This is the quartz. And the quartz runs right up into this pegmatite. Somewhere that all bite. Yeah, hopefully I can get some bigger pieces of, of that later on. Okay, so the quartz is right here, and then there's a little, just a small gap right here, and then it, it runs into the pegmatite. Hopefully I can find something good out of this. Here, here is the pegmatite and the quartz. So you can see here they're running into each other. And that's always a good thing. Like I said, I have found nice big chunks of tourmaline, both shoral and drabite in this stuff, and I have found barrel too. So maybe we'll run into some of that. There's some more of the all bite. It's getting better looking. See, it's just like a conglomerate of materials. Mostly feldspar, but there is some quartz in there. There's a little bit bigger pieces. All right, well, I'm going to stay on it. I will keep you posted. And again, I want to work back through here. Eventually be about five or six foot down approaching this and have all this knocked out. I think there's some goodies in here. At least that's the plan for now. And that is it for now.